Hey everyone, welcome back to Kaifi. Today, we've got something really special for you. I'm diving into the latest and greatest third person shooter game, The First Descendant. If you've just picked up this game or have been eyeing it, trust me, you're in for a treat. But before you dive into the game, I've got 5 pro tips for all you beginners out there to make life a whole lot easier. So grab your gaming chair, maybe some popcorn, and let's get right into it. Tip 1. Dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. Alright, tip number 1. Let me tell you about the one thing that's going to save your virtual life. Dismantling. Yeah, you heard me right. Take that junk into your inventory and just smash it to pieces. Why? Well, not only does it free up your inventory for better, shiny loot, but it also gives you weapon parts and other useful resources. Think of it as recycling, but in a world filled with massive monsters. So, remember, when in doubt, dismantle it out. Tip number 2. The Spice of Life. Weapon Variety. Moving on to tip number 2. Weapon Variety. Forget the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because in the first descendant, sticking to one weapon type is basically asking for trouble. The game gives you SMG, shotgun, marksman rifles, and so many more for a reason. Each weapon type is unique and suited for your different situations, and you won't use a shotgun for sniping, won't you? So, spice up your life, try different weapons, and watch those enemies fall like dominoes. Tip number 3. Be a wanderlust warrior. For tip number 3, let's talk about exploration. If you're someone who just follows the main quest and ignores the world around you, then buddy, you're missing out. This game rewards Wanderlust Warriors, treasure, loot, or even new friends to play with. Exploration is the key to making the most out of your gaming experience. So take a break from your quest, enjoy the scenery, and who knows, you might stumble upon something epic. Tip number 4. Use abilities wisely. Now, onto tip number 4. Abilities, we all love to spam those flashy special moves, but hold your horses. Using abilities wisely can be the difference between an epic win or a fast bomb fail. Make sure you're aware of your cooldowns and use your abilities in situations where they have the most impact. Trust me, save your special moves for those oh snap moments and you'll be a game changer. Tip number 5. Try various descendants. And finally, we have reached the last but definitely least Tip number 5, trying various descendants. Think of descendants as your avatars, they're not just for show. Each has unique abilities that can really change how you play the game. Take the time to unlock new ones, and hey, maybe you'll find your virtual soulmate. So go ahead, mix and match, and find what fits your best. And there we go, those are the top 5 tips for beginners in the first descendant. So, what are you waiting for? Put up the game, start earning like pro. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more awesome content. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and if you have any more tips to share. This is Kaifi signing off. Happy gaming.